Super X here. I'm going to be doing a little review on the SVA Mods Slim Blue. First and foremost, this video is intended for viewers 18 years of age or older. As of the date of this video was published, none of the products I'm showing you are illegal in my home state. This video and any products, means, and methods shown represent my personal opinion and techniques. I'm not affiliated with the maker or seller of any of the products that I'm showing. I acquired this product for my own use. I'm making this video to provide an opinion and or information on the product that you may find useful. You as a viewer, by proceeding to watch this video, acknowledge the aforesaid. And further, acknowledge that you have read and agreed to the terms of service in their entirety posted in the description section below this video. There, now that that's out of the way. Again, we're looking at this SVA Slim Blue. Um, it's by SVA. It's made in Italy by SVA Mods. And um, I acquired this by a guy named Antonio Rico. He um, has a little shop called Tutal Trufumo. Tutal Trufumo. Um, you can find them by going to www.tutaltrofumo.it. That's where he, he has a plethora of different products for sale. One of them happens to be the SVA Slim Blue. The body of this mod is constructed of Delrin and carbon fiber on the front panel and faceplate. The size of the mod is 45 millimeters um, in this direction, 24 millimeters in this direction, and 83 millimeters in this direction. So that would be 1 and 3 quarter inches wide by 15 16 inches um, deep by 3 and a quarter inches tall, not including the, the 510 interface. The weight of this mod. Seventy seven point six grams, seventy seven point five grams, or two point seven three ounces fully unloaded without a bottle or battery. Access to battery and juice bottle is through this door. Again, the door or the, um, the panel here with the squonk hole is held on with these magnets interesting square magnets. I like them. It's something different and they match up to these magnets on the mod. This is also how you access your juice bottle. Again, this is a liquid feed mod. You'll note the serial number is inside the mod. Note the other interior features of the mod. Again, noting the carbon fiber face plate. This is a DNA 40 chip, small screen with temp control, it's 40 watts, reverse polarity protection, and all the features of a DNA 40 um, screen. The fire button is here, controls location are here and the display and readout is here. This mod runs on an 18650 rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Use only the highest quality batteries from legitimate sources. Don't believe um, published amp ratings, claimed amp ratings. Do your research. Make sure you know what your battery is. I suggest you visit ECF um, a thread by a guy named Mooch. It's actually a forum about battery safety and 
he's tested pretty much every battery so batteries these days people are claiming everything from 40 amps to 35 amps to blah 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 research his thread understand lithium ion batteries what can happen to them if you um, misuse them or even in the perfect circumstances I mean these are lithium ion batteries I've never had a problem with them but you need to know about batteries and battery safety these mods particularly when you use rebuildable atomizers um, are for advanced vapors so it's an 18650 the contacts are spring for the negative contact and if you look at that copper plate under there with the wiring connection to the board and the positive is a copper plate also connected to the board pretty solid um, wiring pretty clean I would say it's very clean the way it's wired together battery simply goes in like this and depending on the length of your nails mine are not long can't, I can't get it out like that. I just give it a little tap like that. It pops forward. Then I could push it down the spring. The spring is relatively soft. You'll note that it compresses pretty good in there. Holds the battery snugly in the mod. So again, here's your DNA 40 small screen. Fire button. Locks with five presses. Unlocks with five presses. No atomizer on it right now, so there you go up down um, temp control stealth normal mode features all that stuff are accessed by these buttons that will be concealed behind the door or front panel this is a liquid feed mod again um, it comes with 8.5 milliliter soft squonk bottles um, I just been running my six milliliter Rio bottles the typical ones simply because I kind of keep a pre-filled array of bottles I like to have caps on them that's something I'd like to throw out to any and all bottle manufacturers um, if you guys can always send us a sealed cap I mean I know there's a lot of work that goes into drilling a cap but if you can include a sealed cap too for us people that like to have pre-filled bottles, people that travel, that would be awesome. So that's the, simply the reason I've replaced the bottle that comes in this mod with the um, with like a typical Rio Grande bottle. Pretty common fixture in the vape community. Now the bottle just slips in like so. That's it. Pretty compact, nice fit in there. Um, I tend to refill my bottle by I keep the hose portion of the bottle on now since I've taken it off I would probably just I would probably just reopen that bottle and pull that hose down in because I've got it kind of snug fit because the hose is up but I tend to refill my bottle by having a pre-filled bottle ready and I just unscrew this and put on a new one okay so this is a six milliliter bottle um, that's pretty much how I do it. So since it's liquid feed, when you press the bottle, you'll note that liquid travels up through there into an atomizer designed for a bottom-fed mod or modified um, for a bottom-fed mod. So liquid goes up, gets into your atomizer, and all that good stuff. The atomizer interface is through this stainless steel 510. Okay, it's 510 threaded. Um, it's reverse threaded which I really like that's a huge win I love a reverse threaded connector because it doesn't doesn't um, adjust on you it comes with this tool so you can adjust the contact pin up or down to make contact with your atomizer and or adjust your air hole placement on the mo of, of your atomizer again this tool comes with it it's a nice good size generous I don't know what size it is but you simply just put it down in here um, and get it in there and make contact to adjust that contact. It does come with accessories. We're going to go through those um, that come with the mod. It comes with a 14 millimeter, uh, a cover for 14 millimeters. I guess you'd call it like a, an adapter or a cup. 
and a cup for 22 millimeter atomizers. You put that O-ring in there. There's several of them that come in the box. And when you put it on, you just simply take this 22 millimeter cup and you want to put it on so it's snug. You don't want to tighten it down, over tighten it. Because then you'll just buckle that O-ring. I did that when I first got it and I wound up seeing a little juice around, like underneath it. Just snug it down. You don't have to go crazy with it. And that's that setup right there. Okay. Here's a mod with an atomizer on it, a 22 millimeter atomizer. Med mods M Addy. Simple single coil in there. And I'll take you through the whole squonking, how it goes down. Pay close attention to those to that hole right there. You'll see when I press this bottle, the juice just comes up into your atomizer. What's your wick? Squonking is carried out with the door on the mod. We're not pulling our doors off or any of that stuff. We're just sticking our finger, we're just walking around sticking our finger in that little hole and dripping on the go, dripping on the fly. Fresh squoze and juice on demand. I'm impressed overall with the quality of this mod. I think the fit and finish of it is what you'd expect from a mod in this price range. Um, Italian made, again, I'm just finding the quality of the products made in Italy are extreme, extremely high quality products. Um, I expect this mod will last me quite a while. Um, Vapes extremely well. The feel of it in hand, it's a small mod as you saw by those dimensions. Um, comparison purposes, I'll put it next to a Rio Grande for you. So you can see how it looks next to a Rio Grande. Probably the most familiar squonker anybody's ever known. Any serious squonker has one or two, or a bunch. It's a mechanical mod, so it is about the same, maybe just a, a hair wider than a Rio Grande. It's shorter than a Rio Grande, and it is roughly exactly the same depth as a Rio Grande. We'll compare it to a Sunbox E8. Somewhat smaller than a Sunbox E8. Width is very similar. Or the depth, I should say, and the, and the width is about similar. Just a considerably smaller mod. Fits very well in hand. It's a pleasure to carry. It's a light mod. I'm really taking a liking to these Delrin mods, as you'll notice. I'm developing quite a quite a little um, stockpile of Delrin mods. They're becoming my mods of choice, and I'm not done yet. I like to get some more. I enjoy the feel of Delrin. I enjoy the lightness of Delrin. Um, to me, it's just a material that I believe is um, it's pretty bulletproof. I don't think it's going to crack. Sure, it's not going to dent. If it does wind up getting any little scratches or anything in it, you could just rub it out with some 3000 grit, or there's just different ways you could tend to it. But I um, kind of really like that pattern on the back. It gives you a nice tactile feel along with the logo here. It just feels really good in hand. Again, it's a small mod. You're, I'm winding up most of the time holding it like this. Um, let's go over how this mod arrives to you in this little box right here with the serial number on it. Comes with a little pouch to put it in if you're so inclined. Comes with, as I was saying, the, um, the different cups 
would fit. The adapter, this being the 14 millimeter cup. A couple extra O-rings, you just simply slip that on there. 14 millimeter is your, your bag. That's how you'd go about doing it. So, again, a couple O-rings, you'd use the same O-ring size with whatever cup you use. It's nice that they include some spares. Again, they did include the 510 adjuster tool here. It came with two of these super soft bottles that Antonio um, makes. Okay, I think they're awesome bottles. They just, since I can't, since I have so many Rio size bottles around, I just, just stuck with them. Comes with this polishing cloth, it looks like, cleaning cloth. And that's it, just a, everything you need. I believe you're going to find yourself, if you can be fortunate enough to acquire an SVA Slim Blue, I trust you're going to like it as much as I do. I like it quite a bit. Fits in perfectly in my collection. And um, Super X, I want to say thanks to you for thanks to you for watching. Hope you got something out of this and learned a little bit about the SVA Slim Blue. And um, we'll be seeing you.